Hello and welcome back. Let's check out the drums to Rainbow in the Dark by Dio. We start out with just a crash cymbal and then we are straight into the intro beat. The beat is fairly straightforward and we use it again in the choruses, so I won't go over it again just now, but let me go over the 4th bar and then the 8th bar because they both have these little fills in them. And then the fill right before the verse. That brings us to the verse, and the beat is fairly similar, but we're going to play it over on the hi-hats instead, and there's another epic fill in the 8th bar. Just that fill, one more time. We go back to that same verse beat for the second time around and the fill at the end is a little bit different. I'll go through that whole verse section one time. That brings us to the pre-chorus, and this is the wonkiest beat in the whole song. It might be a little unusual just because the snare drums don't really fit where they usually go. And then we're into a quick little chorus, but it's that same beat from the intro, so let's reuse it. I'll play through that fill one more time slowly. Now, I've just been using single sticking, but in the recording, I think it might be a drag. So then the sticking would go right, right, left, right, bucket, oh fish. So if you like the sound of that better, then you can definitely grab it. But otherwise, if you just play a single stroke rough, that will work as well. Here it is slowly. One, two. From that chorus, we are back into the verse again. Now, honestly, you could just use exactly the same beat as the first verses. There was just one little pattern that stuck out to my ear. So here's how that goes.
halfway through this verse, there's one great fill that goes three on the hands, one on the foot, and just repeats that pattern. But we start on the end of one, so it just sounds a little bit off kilter. That is an excellent feel that you should totally steal from this song and add to your own playing. Moving on, at the end of the verse, we have a similar pattern to the first verse, but it's just a little bit different in the feel. Next up is the pre-chorus again, which is that off-kilter beat. And now we're in a new section, which is just some big tom hits with the kick drum on two and four. I can hear the hi-hat playing the left foot as well, but you could leave it out if it's a little bit too challenging. At the end, there's a bucket of fish, and then there's another epic fill. Let me break it down slowly. The section we're up to now in the song is the guitar solo. It's very similar to stuff that we've already played, so I'm just going to go right through the entire solo. I'll do it twice so that hopefully you can catch it if you want, but as always, if you don't want to learn it note for note, you could just pick up the general vibe and then you'll be able to play along, no worries. We're actually still in the guitar solo, but it moves into that pre-chorus pattern. That wraps up the guitar solo, and then we're back into the tom hits that we played just before the guitar solo. play that fill down the toms slowly. I think the biggest tip is if you start with the left hand, it's going to make it way easier to play those 30 second notes and then keep moving down the kit. Four, one. If you have more drums available to you, you could totally play that fill right the way down the kit. From there, it's back into the verse. Halfway through the verse, there's a different fill once again, and it sounds like this. We 
keep going through the verse just the same as we've done earlier in the song and then we hit the pre-chorus and this time it's just a tiny bit different so here's how that goes I've just got a couple more things to show you. From there, it's back into the Tom hits once again, so you already know how to play those. There's a couple of bucket of fish in there and stuff, but I'm sure you'll be able to work out where they go. Coming out of that Tom section though, there is the most epic fill in the whole song. It's got lots of offbeat 16th notes, so usually I play those with my left hand so that it makes it easier to come back onto the beat with my right hand. That's just one little tip that you can use if you want, but otherwise, this is what the fill sounds like. Then, as the song is fading out, there's another fill that sounds kind of like this. And then the last fill that I can hear goes right down the kit, back up a little bit, and then down again. It's pretty epic. And that pretty much wraps up the drums to Rainbow in the Dark by Dio. It is an epic 80s drum part with lots of big fills on a really big drum kit. So if you've got that kind of stuff available to you, absolutely max it out and use it. But otherwise, even if you're on a five piece, hopefully this lesson has shown you how you can play along to the song. So have fun jamming it, and I'll see you in the next lesson.